Alright, so we made some progress to the- oop, mouse is on the screen. I hope that wasn't on the screen last episode. That'd be tragic. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> uh, we, we progressed through this cave a little bit. Met up with, uh... Met up with Andine again. She wasn't very pleased to see us. We had a little bit of a puzzle with the little... flowers. Nope, this is ominous. Our little yellow friend helped us progress for a little while. Oh. Hello, blobs. Oh. Oh. Oh! No! No likey. Well, this is probably easier to dodge than the last thing was. Yeah. Oh! Careful. Ran right into that one. Now you're just being rude, frankly. This is no way to greet your guests in the underworld. Ah! Uh, I liked you better when you were gone from here. <laughs> Not near me, frankly. Oh, no, dead end. Oh! 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 Alright. Action segments achieved. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, that's intimidating. Must find escape. Oh crap, they're getting faster. Oh no. I'm probably going the right way. I say, based on very little. Ooh, crap. Oh, I got stuck. Jesus Christ, man. Alright. Successfully tense, action-y stuff going on here. Oh. Well, at least I got a lot of space to dodge now, I guess. Oh. 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 -hoo. They're getting faster. They're getting faster. They're getting faster. I don't want them to be faster. Huh. No? Oh crap, I thought we were done here. Alright, definitely want to go down as fast as possible. Seems to improve your chances a bit. What? Oh. Dead end. That's not good. But the sound stopped. Are they going to be over here? Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, no. I don't think Undyne's the friendly type. Well, this is sufficiently dramatic in ways I didn't expect it to be. It, it sounds like it came from over here. Oh. You've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here. Get up. Keith, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... We're good at following in f these flower beds. Oh, water. Okay. Don't know if there's any reason to avoid water yet. Trash heaps? Piles of garbage. There's quite a few brands you recognize. Just garbage. But two identical stacks. Hello. The waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally a piece of the trash will flow through. And fall into the bottomless abyss below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage fills you with determination. Because everything fills you with determination. Piles of garbage. There's quite a few brands you recognize. Oh, it's the same description again. Alright. You rest your hand on the rusted bike. Its horn wheezes a honk of despair. Kuh! There's a sound. What are you? A beat up desktop computer. And it's, the inside is empty. Also, it's underwater, so I don't think we're gonna get much use out of it. It's a cooler. It has no brand. And it shows no sign of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze-dried space food bars. Take one. Alright. You got the astronaut food. Sweet astronaut food. It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? Let's do it. You suck the dummy. Who cares? Alright. Bye, dum- Oop. Oop. Oh! 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 Fool! You think you can hurt me? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy! 
My cousin used to live inside a dummy too, until you came along. When you talked to them, you thought they were all in for nice chat. But the things you said, horrible, shocking, unbelievable. It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul out of your body. Oh, he doesn't, I don't think he's friendly. Oh, mad dummy blocks your way. Oh, man. Mad dummy. Ooh, lots of, no, negative 40 defense. Because they're a ghost, physical attacks will fail. Oh, hello. Futile, futile, futile. Oh, what the? Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, no. All the little dummies are shooting at me with their ghost powers. Ow, you dummies. Watch where you're use aiming your magic attacks. Hey! You, forgot I said anything about magic. He got hurt by his own dummies. Weird. Mad dummy's looking nervous. Can I just talk to him? He talked to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. I'll defeat you and take your soul! Oh, no. Should I be trying not to direct the attacks at him? Like, is that... Is that gonna hurt him? And maybe kill him? My dummy is, is hopping mad. What if I just spare him? I'll use your soul to cross the barrier. Alright. Oh, no. Oh, took a little bit of damage there. Oops. My dummy is hopping mad. I'll stand in the window of a fancy store. Oh. I'm not trying to attack him, but it might be hard to avoid to avoid that with the, the upward attacks. Oh no, he got comboed. He's bossing around its buddy, it, its bullets. Then everything I want will be mine. Oh. Oh god. Oh jeez. It's a lot of shots going everywhere. Uh. My dummy's doing an armless ska dance. <laughs> huh? Yeah. I guess that'll avenge my cousin. Huh? No, go away. Oh man, that's a lot of attacks. Alright. It's a little hard to dodge. Is he gonna get killed? Man, Debbie's doing an armless ska dance. What was their name again? Yeah, really concerned about your cousin you can all remember the name of, huh? Mad Dummy's getting cotton all over the dialogue box. Whatever, whatever, whatever! Oh, oh. Oh. They're just falling from the ceiling now. Getting cotton all over the dialogue box. Anything new? Nope, just talking. Try again? You talk to the dummy. Doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. Futile, futile, futile! Oh no! They're just turning into. They're just shooting themselves across the room now. He's getting cotton. Spare. Nope, that's not doing anything. Whoa, whoa. That's a lot of dead dummies. Maybe I need to attack him? Since he says that it, he said that it'll it'll fail, right? I don't know what to do here. What if I attack him? Foolish, foolish, foolish! Even if you attack my vessel, you'll never hurt me. I'm still incorporeal, you dummy. Wait, is dummy a compliment? I just thought if I attacked him, maybe that would make him stop? I don't know. Not sure what to do next. I'm trying not to hit him. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful. Oh, hello. You're being very rude, freaky monster things. Man, Debbie's getting cotton all over the dialogue box. Maybe I want to make the cotton go in a specific direction? Except everything else is falling now. I think he only shoots cotton upward. Which causes- Hey, guys! Oh. Dummies, dummies, dummies! Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well... Failures! You're fired! You're all being replaced! Aww. <laughs> now you'll see my true power. Relying on people that aren't garbage. Mechanical words fill the room. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, mercy? Dummy bots, magic missile! Oh, hello. Oh. Hello. 
Oh, that didn't really improve, did it? Hey, you, you do that, Almas. Dummy bots, try again! You do that magic missile. I'm gonna dodge your missiles for a while. Don't mind me. Oh! Those didn't go anywhere. Did you say dummy bots, you're fired? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness me. Not too hard to dodge, though. Mad dummy glares into a mirror, then turns to you with the same expression. Dummy bots, final attack! Oh, hello, you're back. Oh, ow! Owie wowie! Oh, ho ho! Okay, that one got me by surprise a little bit. No way! These guys are even worse than the other guys. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. Oh, hello. I've got knives! Knives aren't friends. <laughs> Is that your only knife? I'm... out of knives. But it doesn't matter. You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck fighting me forever. 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 <laughs> What? What the heck is this? Ah, acid rain. Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. I don't know what my life is anymore. That happened. Oh, hey. Sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys look like you were having fun. Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no. <laughs> well, I'm gonna head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with if you want, but no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. Yay! That got bad really fast. Yay! Save point. Hey, my house is up here. In case you want to see. Or in any case, don't worry. You don't. You feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. Alright. Ooh, thank God for saving, because that guy hit me a lot. Hello? Which one's his? The sad one? The, the other one's probably an angry ghost. Oh. You really came. Sorry, I... I was expecting that. It's not much. But make yourself at home? You got books? Oh, CDs. This CD is labeled Spook Tunes. Play it. Spook Wave. Whoa. I don't think older consoles could make that sound. <laughs> Gouladay music. It's a spider web. There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. Oh. Oh. That's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it sometimes. Oh. Are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh. Never mind. After a great meal like that, uh, I like. Oh, after a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Okay. Okay. Follow my lead. <laughs> Here we go. You'll lie down as long as you don't move. So, only move around when you want to get up. 
I guess. I'm not sure what I expected to happen, but it wasn't this. Wow. Well, that was nice. Thank you. The computer's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. Aw. That's nice. At least this guy's hobby in his depressed life. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna keep working on that mix CD. At least Angsty, Angsty McGhost has a hobby. It's locked. There must be some sort of unhappy ghost over there. What's over here? Hello. Back to this song. It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. Snail, snail. A long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail. Reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. Snail, snail. So snaileth Sam Boyle. There's a ghost down there. Look at him. I've been long overdue for a second house. He's just, st he's just hiding under a snail shell. Oh no. The snail is counting, on do counting dollar bills. That snail sold his shell- sold his shell to a weird green man. Hello? Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean... Welcome to Blook Family Snail Farm. Yeah. I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business. But our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. Creepy. Oh look, a racetrack. For snails? Sure is. Do you want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snails which will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. It's 10G to play. Why not? Okay. Press Z repeatedly to encourage your snail. Oops. Press I started pressing it too soon. Yeah, I believe in you. I, I, am I over encouraging my snail? Oh no! What have I done? Oh no, he's on fire! Oh no! I don't think that's how I don't think that's how snails are supposed to work. Oh, looks like you encouraged your snail too much. All that pressure to succeed really got to her. Oh. Jesus Christ, that was worrying. Alright, let's try it again. So if they win, you win. Cool. Okay, press E repeatedly to encourage your snail. Ready? Encouraging. Does he freeze every time I encourage them? Do they move faster if I don't encourage them at all? I don't think... Is that the secret? Is that just not encourage him at all? 
I think that is what's going on here. That's kind of depressing. <laughs> I like the songs, though, in the whole game, really. Oh, you both tried your best. But the snail looks discouraged. Her best wasn't good enough. Oh. Oh. You wanna play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. Oh, man. So if I don't encourage them at all, are they gonna feel discouraged and now they're gonna give up? Let's find out. You just gotta believe in yourself, snail. Look at you going. Oh, you're going too slow, snail. Oh, he's going slower. Come on, snail, you can do it. I believe in you, snail. You're so slow, snail. You suck, snail. You should feel bad. You suck. Holy crap, he's going slower. Ah. How is he getting worse? Should I be concerned? Well. Oh, you both tried your best, but the snail looks discouraged. Her best wasn't good enough. Oh. I don't know if I can win this, actually. I'm sure people will tell me in the comments anyway, but I think I might move on for now. I don't think that's progressing much. Every attempt I make ends with the thing just getting worse. North, Blook Ac Acres, East, Hotland, and question mark, Temi, Temi Villages somewhere. All right. What's Hotland? Yeah, I don't know. Don't know what's going on there. It seemed that if I, uh, if I helped, if I interacted, it would fail. And if I didn't interact, it would fail. So not a great track record across the board. What's over here? Ducky. This little bird wants to carry you across. Sure, let's get a ride. And then it drowns, and it's very tragic. Look at the little guy. Aww. You're amazing. The little bird wants to carry you across. Oh no, I, I already did, no. I, I already went there. But that was cool. He's so psyched. Oh, hello. This is a shortcut, but it is a shortcut all the way back to you. Hello. Thinking about getting into the telescope business. Oh, we've been over this. Well, come back whenever you want. All right, we found our way back. Is there something else I wanted to do around here? I feel like I went everywhere-ish here. Hello? You wanna carry me across? Let's do it. It's so dramatic and exciting that we have to do it twice now. <laughs> God damn the music in this game. I definitely rank this game right up there with Shovel Knight for having a fantastic, uh, sort of chiptune style music. So, oh. Hi. What? 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 It's a living. Doesn't seem like anyone's home. Thought I'd give it another shot. Can I check the windows or anything? It's a weird fish mat? And nothing new there. What about the tail? Huh. It's a weird fish house and the dummy's outside. Does the dummy like getting beaten on over there? Is that what happens? Dude, where does this lead to? Whoa there! I've got some neat junk for sale. Let's talk about yourself. I've been around a long time, maybe too long. Studying history sure is easy when you live through with so much of it yourself. <laughs> so what's with the emblem? Huh? You don't know what that is. What are they teaching kids in school nowadays? <laughs> That's the Delta Rune. The emblem of our kingdom. The kingdom of monsters. 
Great game, huh? Great name, huh? It's as I always say, old King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans. Oh, this new album's meaning is new. That emblem actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangles symbolize us monsters below, and the winged circle above symbolizes... Something else? Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. The prophecy? Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has it an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been taking a bleaker outlook, calling that winged circle the angel of death. A harbinger of destruction, waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. Wah! What about the king? King Fluffy Buns, he's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves walking around and talking to people. Eh? Why, why do I call Dreamer Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember it. But if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have remembered it by then. What about Undyne? Undyne? Yeah, she's a local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the Royal Guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I'd watch your back, kid. And buy some items. It might just save your hide. <laughs> what do you buy? Oh, crab apple, CT. Oh, crab apple is 18 hit points, looks like a crab. An apple that looks like a crab sounds terrifying. Uh, CT gives you gives you a speed up. Cloudy glasses. Uh, five defense minus two defense. Invincible for longer. Huh. Oh, mo it's a uh, minus two means it's two less than my current item. Invincible longer, I believe, means you're invincible for longer when you t when you take a hit. Torn notebook. Uh, two attack, which is five lower, also makes you invincible longer. Huh. Whoa there, I've got some neat junk for sale. I'm gonna leave. Be careful out there, kid. I'll try? What's down here? Hello, dead end. Ah. There's no ice cubes reaching this far into the cave. That's how you know you've gone too far. What's over here? Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrendered to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. There's only one way to reverse the spell. If a huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. Seven human souls, that's a lot. Oh, in the water. But this cursed place has no entrances or exits. There's no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. Spoilers, I'm here, unless I'm not a human somehow. That'd be a t plot twist. Oh, hey, they light up the path. That's neat. They do something now. Alright, things are good. Oh no! Still under combat. Special enemy Temmie appears here to feed you. What are Temmies like again? Flex, feed, talk, flakes. Oh, feed them flakes. Let's do this check. Loves to pet cute humans, but, y but you're allergic. Aww. That's not good. Oh my god, humans too cute dies! Oh yeah, I've never seen a Temmie before. Oh goodness. Hey, no, 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 no. Temi forgot her other attack. Oh shit. Uh, it hurts me, and I don't know how I was supposed to escape that. Um, feed them flakes? Do I have flakes in my inventory or something? No. What are flakes? Temi only wants the Temi flakes. No, so hunger dies. Oh. Oh. Oh no, no. Ow. Rude. How do I escape that? Can you? 
Timmy forgot her other attack. Talk to the Temmy? You say hello to Temmy. Hoi, I'm Timmy! I'm vibrating like a fucking lunatic. Oh, Jesus. How do, yeah, I don't know what to do. How? Stop it. Oh. Temmy is doing her hairs. How do I escape that attack? It seems to just charge straight through me. Oh, it's ye yellow name. There we go. Alright, at least I'm not dead. We should get out of here fast though, that thing hurt me. Oh no, dead end. What have I done? Maybe I'm supposed to leave that one and go prac and press another one? That one doesn't seem like the one. Do you toggle an earlier point? No, it seems like a bad idea. Let's see. Here we go. Temmies are meanies. Let's get out of here before another Temmy shows up. Uh-oh. Keeps going. Did the lantern do that? Oh, they're getting all shiny and purple. Impressing that makes them go away. Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters use crystals to navigate. Alright. Oh. Oh, that's how I... That's how I make, make things... Visible is by clicking on these lanterns. Otherwise, I'll be in trouble. Oh! Not a temp. Oh, it's not a temmy. It's a mold's maw. Multiple's very normal. Oh, I can't spare the other one? You wiggle your hips? Suddenly! Gah! Oh! Hello? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Mold big gyrates reservedly. What are you? Attack six, defense zero, one size greater than mold average. Cause it's mold big, I get it. Roar. I'm fierce. Oh, hello. Careful. There we go. Mold mold big needed some distance. Alright. Can I flee? Yay, bye. Said he wanted distance, so I just ran away. Seemed like a reasonable response. Oh, crap. I'm gonna run out of light. <laughs> That's a dead end. Alright. So, th do these crystals suck in light and remove it? Or maybe maybe they're just so dimly glowing you can only see them when the lights are gone. The variance from room to room is crazy in this game. It's, it's really satisfying to keep seeing different things all the time. Looking for a uh oh Behind you. Oh no. Oh no. Um... Problem? Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity. And give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. Bad touch, bad touch, bad touch, bad touch, bad touch, bad touch, bad touch. No, 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 no. Undyne, I'll help you fight. Uh-oh. Yo! You did it! Undyne's right in front of you! You've got front row seats to her fight! Wait... Who's she fighting? Hey! You aren't going to tell my parents about this, are you? Well, at least Undyne isn't genu- genu- like, full-on evil, because they aren't... Can I go through this thing? You aren't going to tell my parents about this, are you? <laughs> it changed. I don't seem to be able to go through that. 
And this is like a specific spot to click on. Do I have to go back now? Oh, hello. That must be must have been where he came from. So I guess they must have uh like he, Undyne is at least loyal to the other monsters, so he'll pull somebody out of there to be to keep them safe, for example. So they're they're they'll look uh, Undyne looking out for their own people at least. You hear passing conversation? Huh. If I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? Of course I won't laugh. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all bur buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around, that's my wish. You hear laughter. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish too. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface. They will return and the underground will go empty. Am I the angel? Is the angel here already, perhaps? Hello, oh, that's the pillar. I thought that was a path. Yo! You get better, you get back fast. Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Uh, yo, you're human, right? Haha, <laughs> man, I knew it. Well, I know it now, I mean. Undyne told me, uh, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. Haha, <laughs> yo. Say something mean so I can hate you? Please? No? Yo, what? So I have to do it. Here goes nothing. Yo, I... I hate your guts. Uh... Man, I... I'm such a turd. I, I'm gonna go home now. Oh no! Yo, wait! Help! I tripped! Yo, 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 dude, if, if you, you want to hurt my friend, you're going to have to get through me first. Yeah, deal with that now, Undyne. <laughs> She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies was just a nice thought. <laughs> we'll just have to be friends instead. Man. I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. And then he fell again. Later, dude. I like the fact that he fell over 20 times as like a as like a, a uh, as a setup for that exact scene happening. That's a that's a really nice touch. This game has a really cool approach to storytelling in general. Seven. Seven human souls, and that King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Th through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. No. You know what? Screw it. Why should I tell you that story when you're about to die? Yeah. You! You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Alfie's history books make me think made me think humans were compassionate. But you? You're just a remorseless criminal. You wander through caverns attacking anyone in your path. Self-defense? Please. 
You didn't kill them because you had to. You killed them because it was easy for you. Because it was fun for you. Do you think it was fun when I found out? Do you think it's fun when people's family members never come home? Is that fun? No. But your time's up, villain. You won't hurt anyone else. A knight in shining armor has appeared. And all the pain you inflicted on the fallen. Every hope, every dream you've turned to dust. She's gonna send right back through her spear. Yet. I'll show you how determined monsters truly are. Come on. Step forward and let's end this. I'm sorry, this, this music's fucking amazing. Alright, well. Cliffhanger. The wind is howling. You're filled with determination. I'm gonna save it here, guys. <laughs> and we're gonna see what happens in this next episode with the epic fucking music. <laughs> Thanks for watching like always. Some of you are gonna hate me for this. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.